Catherine TDG, Body Big Mafia, slash Mafia, just the Mafia, Beast Mode Battles, Battle Rapper, Producer, Graphic Designer, Artist, T. Dot Wesson, you already know. I've been doing music and shit like since I was like 10, 11 years old. So like, everything like the West Coast shit really inspired us, you know what I mean? Like Snoop Dogg and shit, Dr. Dre. Um, and our, our side of the our, our side of the West End, so all of us, like, there's all Crips in my neighborhoods. We all roll the tag khakis and the fucking button ups, you know what I mean? So it, just, it was that, that whole vibe, the whole West Coast vibe, made just want to do it. And then uh, I started doing the music and shit, and then I just I went to a couple events to see what it was like, and just I, started, I found love of battling, so I, was, I can do this shit. I can kill half of you guys right now. I just got into it, they put me in, I've been doing it ever since. When I first started doing music, it was just, you just write to the beat, just ride the beat. And I started battling after, and I realized it's, it's not the same, because battling, you gotta, you gotta punch, you gotta have it's more structure. Which right in the battle won't fit in the verse, because there's too many words and shit, right? Like, yeah, like for a track, you can sort of just lyrically show off. Yeah, exactly. For a battle, you want to make sure it's a, a hard-hitting punch. Yeah, but it's sort of yeah. like, before, so I used to make good music, just like, because I used to ride the beat, it used to sound good. But after I started battling, I realized you have to have more structure in your fucking... Battling made me better with music, to be honest with you. Because now, like, I, I have to have... The reason, pro only problem I have now is doing battles and doing music at the same time because when I write a punch for a song, I'm like, I can use that against this guy. Yeah. I can use this punch because I always put punches in both of my shit, so... Yeah. So kind of, that's the only problem with that, but it, it helped me kind of to make my other shit better. Like, you know what I mean? I don't see, I'm different, like... Like, you, people usually sit down and have a writing session. I like to go like to go try to start writing some shit. I don't do that. I don't just write a line and, and see what rhymes with it. I'm usually just sitting there watching a fucking movie or something. Mm -hmm. And I'll think of a line from the movie, like the man, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. my last battle, like, I had a bar and people slept on a heavy ice. They didn't get it. Like, I was like, I was like, once upon a time in Mexico, why zag? You get hit from my blind side because you wouldn't even know the extra arm was on me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. remember the movie, he's fucking, he's blinded and the girl's on him yeah. and he shoots her. With his arm that wasn't there, he had an extra arm on him. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. Like, I, don't, I, I write when I see something that inspires yeah. me for it. Like, I'm and like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. fire. So I write it down, and maybe later on when I go to sit down, then I'll, I'll build it. Ah, oh, fuck. Something that's like. Well, some, honestly, something that shakes a room. Something that makes, makes me be like, why the fuck did I write that? Mm -hmm. Or something like where it's like, that's clever. Like, and the build up all made sense to it. it like, there's a lot of different ways to it, but. I like to do the build up where there's one, two, three, then punch. But I want you to have punches into one, two, three also mm -hmm. that, that have something to do with the fourth punch. Yeah, so they had, it's all, yeah, 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 to steam yeah. it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. It has to make sense in every single way possible. But I, that's why I don't reach a lot because I don't like to say shit unless it means it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, trust me. The thing about me with people, like, like, like they don't want to. No one ever wants to just go lyrical with me, like, like lyrical and just try to borrow me. Like they can't outbar me if they tried their life. So they know it's, it's a fat guy thing, or it's a fucking nose thing, or your teeth, or whatever the fuck. Like whatever the flaws you think you are is what they'll bring up in the ring, right? So you, I don't like. I asked her bottle so much that even it was funny because one of the battlers he goes in the, in the ring he goes wait or what? I said a fat joke is your fat guy rebuttal sense ticking in? Like I'm like and I thought about that and I'm like it is motherfucker. Like you know what I mean? I'm about to rebuttal. I'm like fuck it. Who cares? Though? Like. I'm used to that shit. You, there's, there's only as much you can say to me that I know it's coming. Like, yeah. And then you say a rhyme, I know it's coming next. I've been rapping since I was like fucking ten years old, so I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've never you rhyme with, I know what it rhymes with already. Like, yeah. Straight up. Well, the one where I spazzed in, like, because I knew what was on the line was the championship match with Merge, because I knew had that. I was like, fucking. 2002. I'm guessing maybe like. Yeah. I'm just guessing, but. That one because there's a belt on the line and yeah. the champion, whoever wins the belt, you get paid. So I was getting paid a battle. So that hyped me. So I had rebuttals and I knew he was gonna talk about fat. He talked about fat guy three <laughs> rounds. I had rebuttals in my shit. So I, it just yeah. it ended what he had to say. He was getting boring by the third. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you had more angles than he yeah. did, right? And that's that's a key part. Is coming with more entertaining material. The most, the more you can do, like if you can rebuttal, I, I rebuttal too. I love doing that. Rebuttaling, um, make jokes, bars. I, the most, the more you can do, the better, bro. If you're, the better, well-rounded you are. Trust me, if you stick to one style, you're limiting yourself to that shit. Okay. Straight. Right. Well, to be honest, it revived it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? It died out. It, music wasn't doing shit. It started dying out. A battle rap came and everybody's watching well, that battle rap's a new shit now. I mean, everyone wants a battle. All the artists, fucking Joe Buttons, all of them, they all want to do it now. Almost like when UFC blew up, however, everyone wanted to be a UFC fan. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's the wave now. This is like, we brought. Hip hop would have died if it wasn't for battle rap. It's facts. 
hundred percent. Okay, yeah, and you can see that just in the in the mainstream genre, even anyways, mm -hmm. with uh, battlers like well, with fucking, MCs like Eminem and uh, yeah, like, even yeah. like Shaquille O'Neal and them watch it. They're basketball players. Yeah. They're nothing to do with fucking music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the shit like that. Like, it's cool. Everybody watches it. Kevin Durant, all of them like real shit. Ryan Little. <laughs> <laughs> shit, you know what's funny is, is, even when I'm not doing that shit, I'm still part of the music shit behind the scenes anyway. Cause like, uh, like I'm, I make beats and shit, so I sell beats all day, do making beats all day when I think of something. Um, I work, bro, I just do my thing, like, you know, I'm in a hustle, I do the graphic designs and shit, do flyers, yeah. logos, all that shit. That's not, that's not really sick to, like, other, like, cause we do snow removal. It doesn't snow that often, even though we're in Canada, it doesn't snow that often these years, like, it's weird. But we go out when it's snow removal, so it's not work. We still got to find something else to do so we can stay a living. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just keep that creativity. Exactly. Going so I make beats and shit. I do fuck. I do everything, man. I do it all. Nice. Um, actually I actually have an album. Yeah. It's, but I'm taking my time when I got my own mic here. I'm chilling with it. You know what I mean? I'm taking my own time. I'm not rushing nothing. Uh, I got a song out called "Get Fucked Up." Mm -hmm. That's a banger. That's fire right now. Um, and that's on the album "Keep Six. That's what I'm gonna call it. I don't know if I'm gonna do an album or mix TV because I wanna do parts of it. Yeah. But yeah, it's called Keep Six right now. I have the, I have, I'll send you coverage shit so you can see what it's about. That was a fucking classic. Yeah. But as you know, it slept on it. A lot of people sleep on it because we have a little divide in our league right now with the BMNY and BMTO and shit. We share everything they share, don't share shit that we share. So, you know what I mean? But it's all good. Um, I came out of it learning that, like, you try to come with your shit, bro. Like, the last battle before that, I free saw 8% of it. Cause I like I brought my riddance and shit. Like I tried a different style, and then forgot it. So now I freestyle. I think I could have done that. I made the footage good enough to come out. And people think it's debatable as shit now. Like I freestyle with it, but um, I just learned. Be prep more. Like you know yeah. what I mean. Like people, even though if you can freestyle your ass off, you're the best in the world. You respect them more when you come to their prep. Cause that's what it is. It's a fucking written league. Yeah. Can't come in there freestyle and shit. You're not taking it serious. You know what I mean? Huh. You know we, we had we had a couple of these in the works and shit. Like talking about it. Um, a lot of Zay, me and him were supposed to happen from time, it didn't happen. Um, it's supposed to happen again, the last one I battled Q, he couldn't happen, he, was, like, he wasn't free for that time. Um, I say a lot of Zay just to get that over with, maybe Mark 1, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's something different, like I like, the, he battled Eminem and shit. Yeah. That's someone who you can really go for, like people yeah. watch that shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, Mark 1, I say, a lot of Zay, that's it right now, that's all I really look who I'm looking to kill right now, honestly. All right. Okay, so yeah, I'm, uh, let's cap that off then. Give out the uh, shout outs, anyone you want to promote. Mafia, starting five in battle rap, best, sorry, starting seven, starting, we have 20 people in our group now. Best in battle rap franchise. Shout out uh, Joey, Joey V, Grips. I mean, everybody, bro. Everybody from BMNY is in, in the squad and everything. Um, yeah, shout out franchise. He has, he has Smack URL this month. Uh, Born Legacy 4 against Brooklyn Carter. Mm. He's gonna body this motherfucker. All these guys are talking about how Francis is gonna lose. You stupid, bro. Francis is gonna <laughs> kill this guy. Watch. Like, bro, like no, listen, bro, Brooklyn's guy. I like all you guys, but Brooklyn takes a while to get to his shit. Franchise is punching every fucking every 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 line, bro. So you guys can't fuck with that. You guys are gonna use that shit. But the mafia's here, bro. We're gonna take over the stage just now. We're going we're going everywhere. Alrighty. Awesome. Hey. That was episode two of Life Behind Bars on GKTV with Casper the Deadly Ghost. Uh. GKTV. What the hype, Canada? Give us some love. What's up? Stay tuned, folks. Yo, Casper TDG. You're watching Grams Corner TV. Subscribe. See that button right there? Press that shit, motherfucker. Mafia, huh? Don't know. Cheers.